I mean, that, and that, that's true. So Dr. John Maxwell talks about cognitive leadership, 360 leadership. It's how you lead up, across, and down. So same thing that you're saying. You need to speak the language. You need to be able, because leadership is not a position. It's not you on top and I'm a leader. No. When you get on top, that's just a, a, a platform for you to start becoming a leader. And a lot of people think about that as I arrived. And that's the wrong thing to do. No. Because they stop, All they pointed out they to me is working. how much more I needed to learn. <laughs> Correct. How much? Because the, the funny thing is, like, when, when you go up in, in a position, like, even when, when I started this company, like, bro, I could tell you, there is so much to learn. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, every single day is something new. But you know what? People don't care what you know until they know that you care. Mm. And that's something that we got to keep in mind, too. It's like, how much? I cannot teach something that I don't know. And it goes back to what you said earlier. I want to learn first before I teach others, which is great. And that's the way you should be. Because you should be leading by example. And again, I, I like to speak in stories and, and, and little things. So if you, have you ever seen the movie uh, We Were Soldiers with, um, what's his name? Yeah, Mel Gibson. We were uh, huh? Mel Gibson. Here we Mel go. Gibson. As a colonel, he said, I'll be the first one off onto the ground front from the helicopter yep. and I'd be the last one to last step one off. That's right. Everybody respects <clears throat> me for that because you know what? I'm willing to go there first. That means that I'm going to learn. I'm going to be able to actually put myself in danger first. But you know what? Everybody else be willing to 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 follow you because they see you leading from the front. Right. It's like also Dr. John Mass one again, we go back to this. I love to talk about leadership. Stop me, Brock, whenever you want. No, I love these nuggets <laughs> you're dropping, man. Keep yeah, dropping. So, it, it, and Dr. John Maxwell talks about, says that if you're a leader and you are, are for a walk and nobody's following you, you just went for a walk. Yeah. <laughs> you're not leading anyone. <laughs> so you got to keep in mind, you see, if people are following you, so we've got to be, we, we got to be, you know, situational awareness. We need to, to have a situational awareness on who we are, what we do, but also be open to get coached, not only from people that we look up, different from the bottom because sometimes people that come in into our team they know more than us and i'm willing to actually put myself in the situation to bring people that are smarter than me so they could teach me new things so we could move forward together and that's a, as a leader and as an entrepreneur and what you do as a coach and teaching others that's that that's one of the things that you know i, I look up to a lot of the coaches because they have that that, that open-minded um, mm -hmm. about teaching all this, but also learning from others. So, right. So, Coachability is one of those huge things that, you know, unfortunately in the workforce, the more that you go up on that corporate ladder, the lower that coachability yeah. is. So, I mean, I think that's one of the most important things, you know, whenever I'm looking to hire individuals or, or bring them on into a business, I'm always looking for coachability. That's way more important to me yeah. than any talent. It's, Hey, can you take coaching? Are you willing to learn? Do you have the drive to learn? I, I think that's extremely important from any business standpoint. Yeah. If you're looking to hire people, make sure that they're coachable. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just had that situation where I had an interview with a gentleman who was technically sound, but he wouldn't fit into the team well. Right. It's right. a challenger versus that a the impression mindset. we had, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we don't want to, we don't want to hire champions. We only want to hire challengers, right? Yeah. So champions think they're the best thing in the world, no coachability whatsoever. And don't get me wrong, I've hired my fair share of champions before, and they're good <laughs> to a point until they're not, right? Yeah, they're not. Challengers, you, you take, I'm always going to bring it back to sales because that's my background, but hire a, a sales rep who may be green, maybe a rookie, maybe, um, you know, doesn't really know all the, the tricks and the tips and, and, what needs to be done on a regular basis in order to continue to execute sales. I, if he's coachable, I'd rather take that person who's not going to be good for the first month than take somebody who starts off the rip as a, as a, as a killer and then yeah. just slowly dies off, right? Because they won't take coaching. They think they're the best thing ever and things change, right? The business plan, your business model, the way that you sell your products, your products, your price points, everything's going to change. So super yeah. important coachability.